One important question that you should be asking yourself is, do you have a third place? The term a third place was originally coined by the sociologist Ray Oldenburg in his 1989 book The Great Good Place, and it refers to anywhere that you go regularly that is not your home, the first place, or your work slash school, the second place. Third places are inherently social. It's somewhere that you go to be around other people, to meet up with current friends and make new ones, to court romantic interests, to feel a sense of community with the fellow members of your city, and to build a sense of place. Third places are churches, their barbershops, clubs, public libraries, bookstores, cafes, anywhere that you can go to be around people. And the thing is, as time goes on and cities become more and more car and consumer centric, we are losing third places. There are good odds that you watching this don't have a third place. And that's not your fault because the truth is that we didn't stop going to third places, they were taken from us. I mean, seriously, think about it. In the city that you live, are there places that people can just go to hang out without spending money? Obviously, I can only speak from my own personal experience, but having lived in California my entire life, I have a palpable sense that it just costs money to be outside. And as third places have disappeared from American life, what's begun to happen is we've tried to fill this void, this desperate, deeply human need for community with the internet. And the problem is the internet is just not as good. I didn't notice until just now that my hair light has died. As I was saying, online communities absolutely do give you a sense of community, but studies have found time and time again that online communal interactions do not have the same mental and physical health effects that in-person community have. It is no secret that you and I are living through a rapidly changing world. We're going to see some wild shit in the next couple of decades. And if we're going to get through that, we're going to have to get through it together. Community is about to become more important than it has ever been. And that's why we need to bring third places back. I desperately wish that I had a silver bullet solution for you. Something concrete and easy that you could do now that would help fight this good fight. But the reality is, I don't. I've only just recently found something that I would consider a third place for myself, and that's every two weeks my best friend and I drive to Santa Cruz and we hit up Cedar Street where we've found a beautiful little Chinese poor tea house that's right next to a secondhand bookstore and a leftist cafe. And those places are the first places in my adult life where I have felt that sense of community. When I tell you that the mental benefits of just having something like that have been so profound that their effect in my head is measured on the same scale as antidepressants, I am not kidding. So if nothing else, consider this a call to action. Try and find the third places that are left because they will make all the difference for you.